God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, everyone? It's Peter Pat. Speaking of dirty shirts, have you ever tried save <laughs> saving money on laundry? Well, I know a guy that has. His name is Mark. And he will go to extreme measures to save money or to make money. I find this very fascinating. I never heard of extreme cheapstakes before. Let's freaking watch. People misplace millions of dollars in loose change every year. And their loss is this cheapskate's gain. Wow. So he just goes Every around looking. Like Mark spends his free time hunting down dimes, nickels, and pennies all over Las Vegas. <laughs> Couldn't he just get a job? Uh, has does he have a job? <laughs> no, I'm self-employed. So, so what do you do? Shut, shut up. <laughs> Legend. I like how he cuts from this shot, him being excited about a penny, to him wearing My a name suit. Is Mark Terizzi, <laughs> and I'm Las Vegas. And I run this casino. <laughs> I'm the owner of this casino. I just like extra change. Sue me. It's his biggest cheapskate. Mark's an interesting. All right. Well, clearly it's not a cheapskate if it has a dog. Okay. That is completely contradictory. I will point out all the Guy fallacies in this. He's a really good person, uh, but obviously he's an extreme cheapskate. Man, it's got to be so tough to be friends with a real cheapskate. I never heard that expression before. It's like, I don't, I wouldn't mind paying for friends, but at the same time, it's like, if they assume and it becomes a standard, it's just kind of like, all right, uh, uh. I make it sound like I do, I don't, but you know what I mean. The penny loafers from back in the day. But the interesting thing about this, and this is how you can really tell. Okay, what's interesting about the smell, shoes? Oof, that's me. Is, Ew. If you look right here, when my roommate's dog ate the top, I took a marker and I penned in the black as not to buy a new pair. Genius. Hold up, let me do that. I'll take a lesson from Mark here. Just paint the pain away. Paint the pain away. It's not working. It's chocolate, isn't it? Oh, I should not lick it after I... <laughs> Ink poisoning. And he literally will save money anywhere. These shoes and all my dress shoes, I get from the shoe repair store. People drop off the shoes, they forget about them, or don't have the money to pick them up. Okay. I mean, fine. So far, I can't really blame that. You should take care of your shoes. I agree with that. You, they last way longer. You don't need that many shoes. How many shoes do you have? Tell me honestly. Honestly, I should do the same. Literally, my shoes? Hold up. Look at my shoes. They're completely... <laughs> got all a bunch of... Got the same problem as Mark. I'll just paint it over. Thanks, Mark. I mean, honest... I guess you could get, just get shoe wax or whatever. Whatever it's called, I don't know. I'm not buying it. Cost money. Oh! Mark has a, a habit of, of doing things that are a little bit beyond what I consider cheapskate. Mark, okay, what is beyond? Budget under $60 a month by disregarding expiration dates and spending no more than. Old chicken. I don't see a problem with that. <laughs> I mean, I get it. That's a classic thing. If you're low on money, you can buy expired food. I'm, I'm not really here to shame anyone for trying to save money, by the way. Uh, it gets it gets more intense, more than a basically, is what I'm saying. Single item. Tortillas, 50 cents. Power bars, 50 cents. Cupcakes, 50 cents. Peanut butter. My health, worth nothing. I'm dying. Help jelly, me. Jelly, one dollar. But his thrifty habits don't stop there. He pays next to nothing for water each month by refusing to use it in How? his own apartment. I end up spending. You still have to pay in the laundromat. Most a dollar fifty on laundry, because I throw one or two pieces in with everybody else. Once Wait, you can do that? Washes and dries his clothes without spending a dime. That seems kind of shady. Oh, Mark, would you mind if I throw in some laundry with you? Oh, he asks. Okay. <laughs> no. No, I wouldn't let that. Would you? I don't want my laundry to get ruined by other. Am I an asshole? I don't know. Just a few things, not a lot. Maybe a few things. No. Yeah. Okay. Got him. Got him. <laughs> ah, that look. <laughs> yeah, maybe let me borrow a cigarette or something. But wash me. Yeah. Right. Tomorrow. Yeah. Hello, my name is Marco. I was wondering if you'd mind if I tossed in a few articles with your laundry. No. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people said that. No. <laughs> oh man. How do how does he convince them? Oh, do you mind if I throw in some laundry with you? No, that's fine. 
Thank you. Aww. See, this is a perfect example of, of I wish I was nice, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm just not. See, I wish I was nice like that, man. He didn't even know about the camera. He's like, yeah, sure. Legend. There's good people out there. And it ain't me. And it ain't you either. Stop pretending. Here, a couple things there. And then you find some else to share a dryer with. Do you mind if I throw some laundry in with you? Just a few items? Hey, go ahead. God damn, people are so nice. No what is this? Money. Some glitch in the matrix. What? <laughs> It's just knowing how to stretch your money, knowing how to make extra money, knowing how to get the best value. I guess, I guess, like, no, you know what? I probably would. Yeah, I would. I'm just thinking, like, if you're, I guess I would assume if someone asked me to throw in laundry with them, they have to be really poor, so I kind of want to help them. So I am a good person, of course. And if, it's, of course, easy for me to say this in retrospect <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> but he's not doing it. He's just doing it to save you money. For your money. That's the difference. While he won't spend a single cent on laundry, Mark does like to gamble. But even at the casinos, he's found a way to make sure he's never parting with his own money. Wait, what the hell? So he's he's saving money just so he can gamble? <laughs> to feed his gambling addiction? Why would he do that? He can buy he can buy G Fuel, he can buy do anything. What a waste. He saves money just to waste it? What the hell? Why go about gambling a different way? I don't there was no money there, Mark, and you goddamn know it. I gamble with money that I find. I don't spend more than five dollars, and I only play the penny slots because you could win up to ten thousand dollars. Have you won ten thousand dollars, Mark? <laughs> but if I mean, fair enough. The reason I should lose, I'd only lose a maximum of five dollars, not a whole paycheck. Would you like anything to drink? Yes. Can I please get a vodka and cranberry? Yes. Okay. What the hell? Why you save money but you order drinks out? What the hell, Mark? You're not a cheap steak. I keep calling it steak, like a cheap steak that doesn't cost. All right. If I went to a bar, the drink would cost me twelve to fifteen dollars. But by coming to a casino, I play the penny slots, win money, and drink for free. But it's oh, to get an eight money is free in casinos. Money is free in casinos. Yes, that's what I said. <laughs> Brain so large. <laughs> Alcohol, <laughs> alcohol, alcohol. I'm sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me. I didn't sleep much last $8 night. Eight dollars and sixty-seven cents. This is what one dollar can do. Now. When I'm gambling, I know when to stop. Most people think, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna keep going." They double and double and triple. I'm like, "No, you gotta know when to walk away." Mark. All right. Is fair enough. Hustler. I respect um, that. He goes around and always looking for uh, things to do to try to oh, save money. How are you doing? Good. First time that I realized he was cheap was definitely when he was trying to get me to do uh, every single medical study that I could qualify for. In the past six years, <laughs> what? Mark has volunteered in more than a hundred medical studies, and the riskier the trial, the better it pays. When I was doing clinical trials, I would get these scrubs. I would take a pair. Oh, home. He takes the clothing I would use them for daily work. Exercise, I mean, yeah, why not? And for doing other clinical trials. Why Save not? On. Wait, the clothing is a huge problem for the environment. Mark is saving the world, guys. We should be thanking him. Cheap to clean, and they were free. These are the scrubs from the clinical trials. These all represent a part of history. For example, <laughs> part of history. These are the Ebola I studied. This is my. Favorite. What? <laughs> what is? What? <laughs> this man is fearless. Everyone was panicked when my friend and I did this study. Never tested on humans or animals before. We were the, the first two what? in the country to have it done. It's five thousand dollars for a week. So why would I not do it? I couldn't do it. I can think of a couple of reasons <laughs> you could. Jesus, Ebola wasn't that a super high death rate? What the hell? Oh Jesus Christ, dude! I get saving money, but sacrificing your health? I mean, then again, someone has to do it, so I guess it's commendable. I, uh, I'm trying to. <laughs> especially some of the crazier trials, but Mark's full well into it. The two studies that I'm waiting on that I have not been in yet. Is a flatline study. This is a really good one. What they do is flatline. They stop your that? heart for one minute, but you still breathe. Stay there 14 days, pays $25,000. 14 the days? The FDA kind of stepped in and stopped that. The second one that I. Goddamn FDA. Stop the heart stopping surgery. Maybe it's a really important uh, one. What? <laughs> He's so like, yeah, check this out. They're going to stop my heart for 14 days. I might not come out alive. And those goddamn FDA stopped it. <laughs> oh, jeez. He says it so casually. I think that's it. I'm really anxious and really excited and waiting to do is this testicular study. 
what you do is you go in and you donate one of your testicles, they replace it with an artificial one, and when you check out after 14 days, you get a check for $35,000. Damn. 35k Mark, for a testicle. So would you do it? 35k? What would that be for me? Yeah. 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 I don't need two. <laughs> oh my god. This man is hardcore. I'll give him that. He's hardcore. I may have underestimated him. Gets free checkups every month to see if he's a good candidate for each study. So free checkups is pretty good, go actually. For a physical examination. He's going to take some blood, make sure that I don't have high cholesterol, diabetes. Okay, have a seat. Dr. Goldsmith will be right with you. All right. Okay? Sure. So what's motivating you to want to go under the knife and be part of a study like that? The money. <laughs> <laughs> he did not hesitate a second. The money. So you're undergoing this serious surgery where we're going to remove a part of your body. What is the money? M -m -m money. Well, at least he's honest. I want to save lives. I read the study about this, <laughs> about this tri clinical trial and I think it can help a lot of people's lives out there. So I know this, it's a big sacrifice for me, but I know I'm doing the money. I'm doing it for the money. <laughs> hmm. So let's think about what you just said. So we're yes, going let's, to yes. Uh, lose one of our testicles. We're going to replace one of our testicles for the money. Yes. So I like how he's correcting the doctor. Ah, pff, just replacing. I get a new one. A one that doesn't hurt. Probably don't have to itch as much. Oh, so, um, uh, okay. Have you ever had your <laughs> testosterone level measured? Doctor says, I, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, no. So what I'd like for you to do is, to I guess they, the doctor has to check if they're crazy, right? Is that, that has to be a thing, right? Any, uh, any lunatic. I'm just thinking. I don't know what the procedure is, but it has to be a procedure. Take off your shirt. Okay. And I'll come back in and, uh, damn, we'll his eyes are so blue. Okay. Crazy. Okay. And also I got to check out your gyms. Okay. So we'll <laughs> take a look at that too. Okay. okay. Now, what I'm going to also say is you do have the man boob thing going on. So basically what, what you've got is the, what we call gynecomastia. <laughs> and, and so unfortunately for you, you're making. That's a man touching another man's boobs right there. Hell yeah. YouTube. No. <laughs> I'm joking. Whatever testosterone you're making is being converted into estrogen. So if you go get your testicle yanked out as part of this study, that it can make the man boobs bigger. Okay. And it can make your testosterone less. So that would be okay. not in our You need the balls, okay. Mark. Save the balls. Hashtag but, save yeah, Mark's balls. I drop your drawers okay. and we just kind of, you know, examine both testicles. We rub them between our two fingers. Okay. And we just palpate around. Okay, now we'll get lab and EKG, okay. and that'll be part of your pre op evaluation. Okay. okay. Low testosterone levels affect roughly 39% of men. Damn. Dude, 39% of men watching. I'm sorry. That sucks. Bruh, F's in the chat. 39%? <sighs> that one hurt, man. Jeez. Small peak. 39% of small peak. <laughs> I'm just kidding. A low test result for Mark would take him out of the running for the testicular study. And okay, ultimately, there's the hope for his dollar payday. So, um, the risk to you is, is pretty significant. I'm not endorsing the surgery. Mark's test results no! are well I mean, yeah, yeah. acceptable range set for the clinical trial. I'm really disappointed that I didn't get into this testicular study, but the doctor told me there's another clinical trial that I can do. You know, oh, there's another trial. Silver lining. Maybe Going on testosterone replacement would be a great thing for you. Okay. Have you ever thought about doing that? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think about testosterone replacement all the time, doctor. Sign me in. <laughs> Have you ever thought of that? Yeah, all, all the time, man. I'm playing Tap Titans while making videos. This has gone too far. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Rub on the cream. You can shoot yourself in the butt with a shot. But at the end of the day, you'll go shoot myself in the butt. Doctor, say no more. Sign me up. I'm ready for this treatment. While it doesn't pay as much as the testicular removal study, Mark does manage to land a spot in a trial testing testosterone replacement. Oh, I know where those pills are gonna Each go. Each one of these pills represents to me <laughs> a thing that goes up my bling blong. I know because I've done it. Yeah. <laughs> I'd blood in my stool a couple of years ago. It was fine. Finger up my butt. No big deal. Don't have nightmares though about it at all. Check your butt if you have to. That's all I gotta say, gamers. A car insurance payment. 
$75 every Monday, cash, $50 every Tuesday, $125 a week, times four. Five it's like eating backwards. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> the flashbacks. <laughs> no. <laughs> Mark, it ain't worth it, man. Keep looking for pennies, man. You don't gotta do this. $500 a month equals my rent and my car payment. That's being me. Will Mark ever stop being cheap? He will definitely not. That's just in his nature. Really interesting, isn't it? The length people go. If you're being smart about your money and how you're spending it and it's trying to save, by all means, but I don't know. Then again, and then again, it's like, yeah, well, someone has to do these cl clinical trials. Who cares their motivation? And I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? I'm curious what you guys think for once. Say a comment. And if you want to subscribe, do so. I had another, another melee. Tambourine goes bing bong bing bing. We're live streaming Last of Us 2 right now on the channel. It's been a lot of fun so far. The stream's not the game, of course. <laughs> Come join the community. Become a member. Hey yo! That's a great way to save $5! If you want to save $5, check it out. It's a great way to save $5. You get access to OnlyFans, Discord, and a lot of epicness. See you there. Take care. Hey, don't bro, fist boy. Hot, 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 hot! You haven't played Tuber Simulator on the beach? Good! Pack your bags and sit down! No one wants to see your face mask tan lines anyway. Download Tuber Simulator for the perfect beach body.